Coffee Doug here. Welcome to Saturday Rough Cuts. Uh, drinking a little water today. I just got done running. So, no beer just yet, but I can't wait for my first beer in just a little bit. This week, I will be reviewing AI, or Artificial Intelligence. Uh, I think this is actually called AI, Artificial Intelligence. Which is kind of weird. Uh, Steven Spielberg film. Uh, he wrote, well, it's based on a short story, but he wrote the screenplay, directed the movie. Um, stars Haley Joel Osment, uh, Jude Law, and uh, probably... I actually don't remember the year. I'm not as prepared as I should be. Somewhere around 2002, I'm going to get... 2001! 2001. Um, I just watched this for the first time uh, the other day. I've got the two-disc special edition, and I can't believe I hadn't seen it before then. I mean, a Steven Spielberg film about robots slash aliens, whatever. Um, I don't know why I never checked that out. It is the story of In the Future... And uh, humans, obviously, have created artificial intelligence. Um, it's not the standard story of, you know, they're out to get us, they're taking over, things like that. It's more about if we created that and um, the, how the robots would fit into our society. These robots are very advanced. They are... Um, they look exactly human. They um, have pain receptors, so things hurt them like they hurt us. And... It, uh, it's just a very unique take on the whole ro robot with human, you know, uh, storyline. Uh, one thing that I found kind of, uh, I don't know if it's ironic or, and maybe some of you could tell me about this, I didn't get a chance to research it, but it is an Amblin slash Stanley Kubrick production, an Amblin, like E.T., Steven Spielberg, stuff like that, but Kubrick, I don't even know if he was alive during this, but... Um, I found it weird that it's a Stanley Kubrick production only because uh, this movie is really creepy. Um, not, I mean, Steven Spielberg knows how to kind of scare you a little bit or make you feel a little eerie, but uh, this has some really creepy, just weird scenes like where the, some, of the, the, some of the actors that play the robots are just sitting there, and it's not meant to make you think they're out to kill anybody. It's just... Uh, the dialogue between the robots and, and the humans is just real um, static, or I don't know exactly how to describe it. You really need to see it. Um, I am going to give it two thumbs up. I enjoyed it. I don't know that I'll ever really watch it again. In fact, I'm getting ready to go trade it in at my local DVD uh, video game shop. Um, not because it wasn't good, but just because I'm trying to keep a lot of movies going through. Um, uh, very, uh, very weird take on the whole genre of robot movies. Um, it, uh, did surprise me. There is a, uh, extra character of a little teddy bear. And, um, the teddy bear is so lifelike, it makes me wish they'd make a movie about just that teddy bear. Although, you would be afraid that the teddy bear would kill you in your sleep. It talks with the kid, it gives it advice, it walks around with them, and they don't treat it like this is something special or amazing. That's what all the humans are used to in this time period, are robots that are just like humans. So, the story follows Haley Joel Osment. He plays a robot, and he gets adopted by a family. He's one of the first child robots. Uh, so, he gets adopted, and they're integrating him into a family, um, and... The family's son returns, and when that happens, it kind of, the robot starts feeling left out, and then goes on an adventure. I don't want to give away too much, or why he leaves, or things like that, but uh, it is it is cool how they show the robot mixing in with humans, and then they show the robot in their own entire world, because robots in this movie have their own little cities, and things like that, and people kind of hunt them, and... It, uh, like I said, just the dynamic of, you know, the robot living in a universe with humans and vice versa, it is really, they don't go all Terminator on it. They make it just seem like, wow, it would be really weird to have that. And how would humans treat the robots and vice versa um, compared to, you know, robots treating humans depending on the programming and stuff. So I highly recommend it. Check it out. It's worth it. It's a good Spielberg film, and I would say it's one of his just eeriest films that I've watched where it just kind of left me uncomfortable sometimes watching it. So, until next Saturday, 
I am Coffee Doug, and uh, please write me. I'll write you back and uh, watch the other Rough Cutters, and uh, thanks for watching.